IBC 2022, we are Blackmagic with Darren, who has the ATM SDI Pro ISO. Tell us about it. Thank you very much, thanks for having me. Um, yeah, so today at the show we're showing the ATEM SDI Pro ISO. We've also got its bigger brother, the ATEM SDI Extreme ISO. These are new releases for this year. They expand on the, the ATEM Mini range that we'd previously had and has been around for the last year or two, but this brings it into an SDI workflow now. So there's huge benefits to working with SDI versus HDMI. We've got lockable connectivity, so it means that the uh, connection's really robust. We can run these signals over much further distances as well, so we can work up to 100 meters in HD. That means if we want to position our switcher a little bit further from the action and have it out of the way of what's going on, we can be much further away, but we've still got the confidence of the, the robustness um, on the connections. We've also answered a couple of questions from uh, customers as well, who've uh, kind of said they want to see more connectivity on the output side of things. So on the SDI ISO uh, and the um, SDI models, we've got two outputs on the smaller version and four outputs on the extreme version there. What that means is we can have things like the multi-view and the program coming out of the ATEM simultaneously so operators can see them side by side so they can see exactly what options they've got on the multi-view and then be able to push them to the program output and uh, be able to see that on, on both separate outputs there. There's also the benefit when we're working with SDI and we're working with Blackmagic cameras, we send our camera control information out via the SDI ports as well. So we can run that back to the camera and change things like iris, focus, and then the color shading as well. So we could use one of these outputs as the multi-view and then set the second output as a program output and send it either directly to a camera or put it into a distribution amplifier and send it to many Blackmagic cameras and be able to shade that directly from there. So it's, it's a really useful feature having the second SDI output now. Specifically on the ATEM um, SDI models, we've got the, the ISO now as well on these units, which is hugely important for anyone who wants to work with multiple cameras and capture their, those feeds simultaneously and then rework with the content in DaVinci Resolve. So we've got a full ecosystem of Blackmagic cameras, ATEM switches and now DaVinci Resolve as well so you can work quickly and efficiently with a, um, a lower bandwidth H.264 recording and then you can jump into Resolve and swap out Blackmagic RAW files if you're working with Blackmagic cameras as well. So there's some really cool workflow options you've now got with the, the ATEM switcher lineup.